Mary Poppins was the first film I saw as a kid. It's what opened my mind up to the world of movies and magic and music, dance, fantasy, all of that in one beautiful movie. And that has stayed with me my whole life. I do remember that first impression I had as a child. There was something completely magical about Mary Poppins turning the mundane into these extraordinary adventures. Mary Poppins is really timeless in a very particular way. And the entire creative team have really taken painstaking measures to evoke that wonder of the original. Everyone knew how daunting it was going to be. But let's just use that love that we have for the film and create something that we want to share with the world. Because the bar was so high, it was the most challenging project that I've ever worked on. I started as a dancer, and I'm from Broadway. I feel so fortunate to be able to do a musical the way that it was done many, many years ago during the golden age of musicals with big dance numbers. It takes a lot of time and energy and focus. So today, I thought it would be helpful to get a sense of what we've been cooking up in here. We have like these little cutouts of penguins and stuff like that. But at least you've got a sort of like a sense like, oh, I, I kind of see it. OK. John DeLuca and myself are co-choreographing with Joey Peasy. We had eight weeks of very intense rehearsal to experiment, stage things, change numbers. It's a luxury to have rehearsal because when you've mapped everything out, the actors know their relationship so much deeper. Okay, from the top, one more time. Climb apart, everyone! <laughs> now, where would you like to go? You wouldn't believe what's happening on sound stages all over the place. It's like a Broadway boot camp in a way. We have people rehearsing a number here and then another space. There's flying. It's a very large scale production. On day one of rehearsals, we started to dance. Okay, guys, here we go. Coming from the theater world, I feel so spoiled. You never get as much rehearsal time as we've gotten, and so worth it when you watch Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, Step in Time. What's amazing is not just how incredible they are, it's how it looks spontaneous. The dancing was something I was slightly dreading, particularly knowing that you're gonna be dancing with 30 professional dancers. So we rehearsed and we rehearsed. Rob just said, it's got to be in your body so that on the day when the cameras are rolling and you're in the costume, you don't have to think about it. All right, love. Playback. The cover is not the book, so open it up and take a look. Rob is just so emboldening. You feel like you can sort of do anything. And for as wonderful as he is, it's very exacting. He wants it to be perfect. So you got to work it. Lovely, darling. <laughs> so we're standing about here. Over here, we at one point had another house that we took away, so yeah. we made this a garden. Look how beautiful, John. When I started on the film with Rob, he said, it's a whole new movie. Don't worry so much about looking at the original movie, read the books. I read all the books and made notes about the street and their house. By the time we got into H stage at Shepperton, we knew exactly what Cherry Tree Lane was gonna look like. And that's 17 wow. Cherry Tree Lane. There it is. With the fencing and the side. Wow. Snap into the movie. <laughs> right. It's pretty fabulous. I love it, John. Let's do it. I'll never forget the moment we walked into set of 17 Cherry Tree Lane. It was really emotional to be in this world that I was so enchanted by as a child. 
it's, it's sort of mysterious why it's so powerful. That was probably one of the coolest experiences I've ever had. There was old cars, the trees look real. Each one of those cherry blossoms had been put on by hand. It was so magical. There are things that are in the DNA that you can't mess with, and I really wanted to make sure it was on a curve. We worked hard to make the street feel real, the sidewalks feel real and cracked, and watermarks on the houses when you see that street, you feel the history in the walls of that set. It's all of our childhood, and everybody has a very nostalgic, protective feeling about the history. The character in that first film is so iconic and seared into people's memory. I sort of dove into the books in order to find my own version. And action! Mary Poppins! And she just leapt off the page at me. It is wonderful to see you. Yes, it is, isn't it? She is so enigmatic and funny and vain and rude and all of these things that were, like, so delightful to play. May I say you look lovely as always? Do you really think so? Nice to see you, Jack. I knew that Emily was the only one who could play this part. Well, now I am off to speak with the father of these children. This family is clearly in desperate need of a nanny. Now, quick march and best foot forward. She's a very stern, tough nanny. What are you two whispering about? Leaning is not a spectator sport. Off you go, spit spot. Underneath, there's a child inside who has great joy and love and wonder. I worked with Emily to find glimpses of that humanity private moments where we see what she's really feeling. There's something about musicals on film that are this wonderful hybrid between musical theater and film. Oh, the lamps I'm turning down, please don't. Blue, for in this part of London town, the light shines through. I like the theatrical quality that Lynn brings to everything. There's a light in his eyes. You see it all over the film. If ever I lose my way, I just look for a little light to guide me. What was fun about this role is I got to do a little bit of everything. You get to sing, you get to dance, a little romance, and then there's these action sequences. I had so much fun getting to do things that have never been asked of me as an actor. Beautiful. Great, great, great. One of the best pieces of advice uh, Emily Blunt gave me when we started filming, because she worked with Rob previously, was Rob's not going to move on until he's got it. It just made me feel safe and like we're in really good hands. So you just go out and you do your best. You'll be blessed, so keep on looking high While you're underneath the lovely light Background action. Action. Ready, steady, go! When you take on the role of Mary Poppins, it, it you know, obviously it's a thrilling prospect. Yeah. It's really fun. And then you realize all of your scenes are with children. <laughs> yeah. We've got three very, very different, very talented human beings giving us a run for our money. Hey guys, good to see you guys. Is this fun? The children, Pixie, Nathaniel, and Joel are so wonderful. The soul of the movie. They're such bright little people. <laughs> and they were so focused. Except Joel. Well, I like... Hi, I'm Joel Dawson, and I like peanuts. <laughs> Joel is just this sort of whirring dervish of energy and life. I mean, what's fun about seeing Cherry Tree Lane there, you can see that White House there. It's almost as if that rest of Cherry Tree Lane is there and the Admiral's house is there. Okay, this is the kind of the plan. 
If you're going to take on something as special and unique as Mary Poppins, you do need somebody as unique and meticulous as Rob Marshall and the whole team that he built around him. Rob is a great conductor. He has all of these different personalities and egos and challenges, and he makes everyone feel like they have a very integral, important part of this symphony he's creating. I just want to say, I feel honored to be working with this gorgeous group because I know most of you, and it's the creme and the creme. It's the best. It's about collaboration. You need a big team, and everybody has to work together. There are so many moving parts. The lights. The lights. The lights. Fantastic. Working with Rob and John, you've got this all-seeing eye between the two of them. If Rob has his eye on the big picture in one moment, John will come in and say, the foot is just like an inch here. And then there are moments where John is adjusting three dancers while Rob talks to you a bit about intention and character. And they're always in sync. You always know that whatever you're doing, you're being very well taken care of because they've got four eyes on everything. So we're going to turn around. So we kick the last. That's better. It's this little Yeah. It's been 54 years since Mary Poppins came into our lives. This is our hero, Angle. Mary Poppins has to arrive from the sky, so I was aware that there was going to have to be some height. I wasn't quite aware of just how high I was going to go. <laughs> there are no nets. She was quite nervous and scared, but I kept saying to her, you're not coming in. The character's coming in. Effortless. It's like it's an easy ride. Oh, how exciting. Yes. 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 Really? All right, should we do this now? Are we saying I'd love to do it if we're ready? Hey, Marka. You look amazing, Anne. OK. Great, let's go up. You go up and up and up. And so we got to about 25 feet, and I thought, well, that's actually really high now. And then you just keep going, 45 feet in the air. So if I looked out, I was higher than the trees. <laughs> Pulling Mary Poppins out of the sky on a kite was a pretty iconic moment. You can't believe Mary's made another entrance. And cut, fantastic, and you're amazing! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> It was Mary coming. I want to see it, then we have a look. Yes, we're going to go take a look. Oh, it's cool. Look at this one, too. Look at it over here. Woo! Thank you. You love it, darling. It's so proud of you. Good. Yeah, it's awesome. See you later, guys. Thank you. Just going to pass out now. original musical, you have to find songs that come out of the narrative in a very seamless way. And they have to come at the right time. I miss Mother. Oh, listen to the three of you, you're all worrying far too much. After all, thing was this ballad, the place where lost things go, guys, is what they need in that moment. And it's just so beautiful and so moving. I just love doing it. hills and valleys of the music is really a huge part of the storytelling. 
Mark Shaman and Scott Wimmen's song score feels like it's of the original film in a way, in style, but of course it's completely original on its own. Morning, Mark. I'm so happy to be here. I love you all desperately. I've been touched by the spirit of the Mary Poppins movie all my life. From songwriting, lyric writing, orchestration, storytelling, I learned it all from Mary Poppins. So our songs certainly are in honor of the style of the Sherman Brothers. Walt Disney felt that music was a magic connection between the audience and the characters and the storyline. You can hear the melodies, hear it in your heart, and it goes with you. Richard Sherman saw the script, heard the songs, gave his opinions. Spectacular. Thanks. Here we go. Are you ready? And action! He has it there, Willie. Uncle Dawes. What on earth are you doing here? And fabulous Dan Hancock. Woo! But can I just say how lucky we are to have this amazing man here with us today? Thank you so much. This is so exciting. Having Dick Van Dyke in this film was a dream come true. We're in a business where you do meet famous people a lot. You can't go around being starstruck all day long with everybody. But Dick Van Dyke made most of us feel a bit like a child again. When Mary old your end, you feel so great. Your heart starts beating like a big brass band. <laughs> OK, guys, here we go. I'd like to tell you a little story. It's about a little boy named Michael. Michael wanted to give his tuppence to a bird lady. After a little persuasion, he decided to give them to his father. When he did his speech, he took us all to that place. Your grandfather gave those tuppence to this bank. That tuppence has grown into quite a tidy sum. In fact, enough to pay off that loan you took. The house is yours. <laughs> He just has this magic. And Rob couldn't say cut, because he was so emotional. <laughs> I cut the game exactly. Rob! Oh. That's what he said. I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be part of this. I can tell everybody that this story is in very good hands. Oh. Believe me, it's gorgeous. The end of the movie, it all comes together. Real life and fantasy mix. It's a gorgeous metaphor for life. If you. It was so moving when Angela Lansbury and Dick Van Dyke came on set because you don't quite realize until those people are in front of you, just how much they've impacted your life. <laughs> Angela Lansbury, one of the most extraordinary women on the planet. We love you, Angela. We love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. You have to have the imagination to take on a magical character. You have to believe in the magic, in all of the qualities Disney movies are infused with. Why don't you go first, sir? Me? I don't think I've held a balloon since I was a child. Then you've forgotten what it's like. To hold a balloon? To be a child. There's something really lovely about making a film like this. You do feel like a little bit of the armor that you have on as an adult slightly falls away. You can let your heart open. Hi. Hi. 
arise from the ground with their balloons is incredibly moving. To get to hold a balloon and fly away, I mean, that's every kid's fantasy. It's impossible to overstate what making this film has meant for me. Every day was like magic is happening. This one looks like you. How do you know? Spellbinding, watching everybody care so deeply about a project. It's an unparalleled experience. Rob understands people's hearts, and he knows how to do big storytelling in a beautiful way. Rob Marshall has a passion for the character. He has a passion for musicals, for cinema, and he has an enormous amount of empathy for others. Love, passion, and empathy. That's how you create great art. We need something uplifting with a little childlike imagination and sense of wonder. This film is very personal to me because what it says about life and looking for the light. Mary Poppins, she's come to help show the world that you can see life through a child's eyes. And I think that's what this film brought out, the child and everybody. Practically perfect in every way. The fact that I was able to be part of the legacy of Mary Poppins is perfect for me.